Hey guys, here's a crude prototype of the microphone preamp I've built. It's still a work in progress and currently in testing and tweaking phase. It consists of several PCB boards that I've designed and had made by JCL PCB in China. For the filaments I'm using a 12.6 volt DC power supply, which is capable of providing enough current for the two preamp tubes. I wound the custom power and output transformer for the preamp as well. The input transformer is made by Cinemag. I've designed these boards so that I can connect them together if I like to and make a whole channel strip with a 2BQ and compressor or make other combinations as well. The preamp also includes a 48 volt phantom power circuit. The original plan is to make a whole recording tube console someday using a bunch of these modules stacked together with a couple of master summing channels. Sounds a lot easier than it is, but anyhow. I would like to make the Gerber files of these tested boards available for free for my patrons and also have them for sale on my website. The main focus of this video is the 12V DC filament supply board. It's a simple effective solution which requires minimum space and only a few cheap parts available in any electronics store. If you're experimenting with tubes a lot and building similar projects and you don't want to waste your time building the circuits over and over on the breadboard, this is the ideal solution for you. I decided to share the Gerber files for this particular board for free, so you can have made as many as you like at the cheapest PCB manufacturer you find. At the moment, the cheapest and best solution that I know of is JCL PCB. You can download the Gerber files for free from my website by following the link in the description. As for the rest of the boards like 48V phantom power or 6.3V filament supply, mic pre-boards and EQs and compressor board, Gerber files will be available for free from my patrons in future and also available for sale on my website for a symbolic price. So if you would like to support me and help me design, make and test more boards like these and make them available to you, you can check my Patreon page in the link in the description or check my online store for updates. As you can see in this part of the video you can assemble these boards in no time with just basic soldering skills and some basic tools. The circuit needs around 13 volts AC at the input to work properly. Adding a heatsink is a must for a cool and safe operation. Once you have all the parts soldered in place, you can connect the AC voltage to the input and check the output voltage. And as you can see, we get perfect filament voltage at the output. I would like to thank all my patrons for their kind support. And if you would like to support me, you can check my Patreon page in the link in the description. Don't forget to like and subscribe and see you next time. Thanks for watching.